Hi, hello everybody, Jake Copics here back with another episode of FTL Multiverse and we are welcomed by this the same message that we will like left off like in the last episode. I, I just realized that there's a freaking funny message here. The might concern of something into of smashing into a planet across your came across your mind, yeah. Uh, but you figure out there is there is a probably a system to prevent that because yeah there we are like jumping to to like other other galaxies like in Star Wars or whatever and yeah probably there is there is a system that prevents us to to uh, crash into into a planet but yeah we don't know hopefully <laughs> and yeah there is another sector which is called Obelisk Homewards another sector that we have no freaking clue what's going on in but let's go and yeah there is already an enemy fleet waiting here uh, continue and I think those are like friendly <laughs> where is the E? holy shit I remember her she is the queen and something something uh, yeah she's the princess of the Robelisk royals uh, <laughs> or maybe the memes whatever yeah, if you want to read it, then read it. And holy shit, there's an MFK fleet here. Let's go. And we have a uh, strong enemy to fight in the beginning. Let's go. Finally. I mean, we had some strong enemies in the previous one, but I, I'm just a bit hyped for for this questline. I played it like... I think I I finished this questline like three times maybe or four, something like that. I played a lot of FTL, maybe, maybe more. I'm not sure, but... Yeah, I really love this questline and you've probably realized already, but yeah, I really love it. And there's actually no ISB, which I'm surprised because there's a lot of enemy ships out there. Mm, let's send the Carnage here. I just really love this game, its soundtrack, its and this questline, like, obviously, but yeah, you already realized. I don't know what I wanted to, to like, deliver through the sentence, but whatever, yeah. The enemy is already dead, obviously. We are too broken, we are too strong with this ship and imagine if someone would board us, like, come on. Imagine, imagine, just just imagine, come on. Just uh, some guys that try to, try to crook it us, like, holy shit. And yeah, we have to hurry. And yeah, there is a merchant here. And you, you know what I'm going to do. You obviously know what I'm going to do. I'm going to beat his ass, like, obviously, come on. Mm. That's their slum. Yeah, they are harvesting some wreckage from like the previous battle or whatever. Let's let's attack the Lanius and get the the ancient stuff for ourselves. Cause why not? We are pirates, by the way, like renegades. So we don't really care about other races. We are not federation like in the basic game. We are we are pirates. Yeah. Just waiting for the weapons. Obviously, this enemy is like super freaking easy to kill. Yeah, and somehow we didn't we didn't kill him this time. Whatever. Just amazing. Yeah, I'm, I might seem a bit less enthusiastic right now, but I assure you that it's it's a a temporary thing. Cause I'll just get back on track with with my commentary and hopefully I mean. But yeah, if anyone likes me, just talking all the time then uh, then you will probably have it a lot in this episode because I'm going to talk about all of this shit and probably give a bit of a like uh, explain some stuff at the end for the people who didn't bother to read anything in this run because I believe that there are also a lot of people that just don't care about the lore and are just here for fighting but maybe you would like to hear just a tiny bit of, of this so let's give this guys fake data okay we are heading straight for the merchant. I think that fight with merchant, holy shit, will be easy. Obelisk rail transport. You don't remember the probably you guys remember the the quest from the transports, and I don't think I've ever did a royal transport. I mean obelisk rail transport, so that's nice. And yet those guys already have some of those. You know, I'm the only classical. Ah, I don't know why. Yeah, obelisk royals are also 
uh, a bit stronger than normal obelisks, but we don't care, we are also strong. Let's send those guys here, those guys here. Our map base also will beat their asses easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, there is like another freaking race of obelisks, which is, which is like another like higher level even. And we will probably cloak this rocket as I don't want to get hit by it. Let's send a weapon, I mean a payload here and the carnages will go here, just like that. And that was easy already, probably it's over, I think. And yeah, it's just a bit quiet in the background. I'm a bit surprised by that. Let's uh, turn on our, both of our menders and send them to repair and... I, I would like you to, to just forget about this fight for a second, just forget about it and look here, look, just, just just look. Holy shit, it's it's fast, let's say, and we can also get more scrap from them, whatever. We'll probably have like over a thousand and a half scrap uh, until like after the fight with, with Sylvan. There's a store with this dress, maybe we'll get some of those white purple weapons like with the purple LEDs glowing, whatever. Let's rescue the star, obviously. Let's send our guys to the other room because they'll probably kill this drone in a matter of seconds, even though it's also a lot, it's, it's strong like as hell, but yeah, two of our guys are probably stronger. Mm, let's send equalizer, now the carnages, and it should be over quickly. Not really, okay. Now, probably, yeah, their, uh, their pilot's bay is destroyed, so we are just waiting for the carnage. And it won't hit. Amazing, yeah. Sometimes the the carnage just misses. Cause why the hell not? There's there's some stuff here. Nothing special. You can sell. Maybe we won't sell this eradicator beam. Let's maybe get another guy. Although now we don't need it. I mean, more crew members is is obviously better, but we don't need it. We have enough for now. We have uh, twenty of them. We can, we can still house. 12 more, we already have a lot of drones, so yeah. Uh, let's check an onboard lab, because I think I didn't I didn't uh, upgrade anyone, I'm obviously going to take diversification off on humans, because like it's, it's the thing that I take most of the time. Let's check out the Lanius, I think that experimental alloy, yeah, no, what, which was the one that allowed them to uh, not get damaged. Uh, by their... There's nothing that allows them to like not not uh, decompose. I thought that there was like an upgrade for them, but I guess not. Let's let's visit our our friend. Hopefully he doesn't have any stories for us. Holy shit, uh, that would be... That would be... Why there are three dots here? Oh my god, I forgot about it. There's no freaking way we won't fight this merchant this time. Uh, yeah, the beam master obviously beat the, the merchant and now she's like the final quote-unquote boss of this freaking place, whatever. I think like, she was Leah obviously, but we are going to mock her a bit. Yeah, you are Leo. Leah. No, you are Leo. Whatever. Who cares? Yeah, she's a bit jacked. She sends an MFK S ace at us, but we don't care. He's going to die in a matter of seconds with our obelisk guys. She sends an atom at us? Holy shit. Okay, that's that might be a bit harder. Yeah. But we'll also defeat it easily because we have our lightweight E grind, which is a bit strong. She fires this shit. Let's send them to their designated areas let's I don't know what this weapon does but we don't care really let's cloak all of this shit and we could probably crew kill heal crew kill her maybe let's send this here this here and this here nice it's already pretty much over it's over my guys let's send it here and let's just crew kill them because why not I think they are they are strong. Yeah, they barely lose any HP. Holy shit. Where is our target? But let's turn his battle mode on. They our guys got stunned. Okay. I mean our payload goes through the uh, goes through the 
to the shield, so we don't care. Yeah, their med bay got destroyed. And we'll probably have to teleport our guys out in a second. Okay, our one of our guys died. I didn't intend that. I found out he had a bit more HP. Let's get them from from there. Okay. Reconstruct reconstructive teleport worked, obviously. Uh, let's send this here. They almost died, okay. Mm, just waiting for our crew, because I want to crew kill her. Why not? Mm. Come on, turn off the cloaking. You know you're already dead. Come on, please. Yeah, good job. You are dead. Our drone is also waiting for them. There's another atom that she sent at us, but we are stronger than that. And Yeah, we got another eradicator beam and I know by a matter of like matter of fact that there's a way to like rescue Sylvan from this uh, from this thing but I don't know why I don't know how I, I meant but yeah I remember that you could rescue Sylvan so yeah there is a lot of tension and also a lot of mistakes in this run and I will just quickly close my window because someone is outside give me a second I won't, I won't edit it out because I'm freaking lazy and uh, let's, let's have the settlement, okay, S several crystal sentinels and obelisk squirrels, okay, let's hold them and there's, there's a market here, okay, do we need another payload, I mean, yeah, we can get it, why not, we'll try the combo with the with two payloads and an eradicator beam. We'll see how does it how does it go. Holy shit, 22 seconds. Oh my god. Okay, we'll try it just once. Just, just once. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully nice. Hopefully well. Mm. We got a free mantis. We had a we got a very good free mantis. Holy shit. Free mantis warlord, yeah. Uh he gets a lot of a lot of buffs, but yeah, nice, I guess. Let's save the positions, let's jump. And yeah, I wanted to fight them and I didn't have an option. Great. Mm, let's destroy the auto ship. We'll try it out on this bitch and then... Uh, and then just, you know... Mm, and I'll just switch up to our carnages just because they are a lot better, obviously. Let's send this other shields. Okay, let's also do this and, I don't know, this, because we actually have to destroy their shields to, to use our Eradicator Beam. They actually burst, pierced through our shields, which is a bit surprising for me, but whatever. We are waiting for the payload, let's send one here, and let's see what this Eradicator Beam does. Not much, I guess. I mean, four rooms, it's like 16 damage, but... Yeah, in some bigger ships, maybe maybe it's worth it, but I prefer the Carnages. I mean, we, we would have already fired twice, we would have already killed this guy. Uh, holy shit, that's, that's a brutal thing to do. <laughs> holy shit. Let's maybe be a, less, a little less pirate-ish. I should, I should Roomba. Is this like this kind of a drone that cleans the floors? Yeah, it's it's a really like a normal freaking Roomba cleaning robot. Yeah, let's. I know what what the hell it even does. Yeah, let's let's get it instead of this eradicator beam because we have another one. We don't care. Yeah. Holy shit, that was, that was weird. I think that there's no need to make it any longer than it needs to be. Let's just get ready to visit the palace. Actually, we can upgrade a tiny bit before, why not? Let's do this. And nothing else we can upgrade, okay. I, I upgraded the drone control room because we get damaged uh, 
in it a lot and yeah our jobs are fairly fairly important so should probably take care of them and there is a beautiful background behind i don't know why the soundtrack soundtrack haven't changed but we'll see and there's a royal obelisk dreadnought or obelisk royal dreadnought whatever yeah uh a lot of stuff going on let's turn on we can turn on the thermals and target because he's uh He's, he haven't charged them yet, and yeah, I think we will win this fight, but we will see in a second. Let's fire Ion at this, okay. We should fire probably right now. They sent a payload at us, let's do this. Okay. Our Ion fires without sound. I'm so used to hear, like, something happening. Like, you know, uh, whatever, like, sound of weapon being fired, but now why not? Actually, once again, freaking polish. Why? Why yes? Why yes? Mm, Mender, where is Mender? Come here, Mender. Repair this shit, and we are actually like doing really well against them. It's probably almost over. There's some stuff coming at us. Actually, only only two of them. No, more than two of them. Holy shit! Yeah, a few of them. Okay. Uh, there's some bad stuff happening. Uh, will it be over finally? Nice, thanks. Okay, we finished the Dreadnought. We got an Ancient Recycler. Ancient Recycler. We don't care about it. We are waiting for our ship to repair because, yeah guys, it's not over yet. It's not over. Let's send the Mender here. Let's send another Mender to the Med Bay. Oh, uh, you guys can, I don't know, you don't have to do anything actually. You guys can go here, one of you can go here. Yeah, just give me a, a bit of time and everything should be repaired. Yeah, also medbay with the, those like medbot disposal is broken as hell. Uh, is everything prepared right now? Probably yes. Just a tiny bit more time. Come on. Okay, everything is fine. Uh, let's jump. <laughs> Not so quickly. Uh, yeah, you go to the real chambers with like using the directions of this this wither the Isle White. Yeah, I was again yawning. I'm talking a bit too much for my lung capacity probably. Mm. There's obviously some freaking corruption and shit cup happening. Uh, and yeah, we have the bomb that is able to destroy the uh, the multiverse. Like probably some of you watched the new Spider-Man movie, and yeah, that's that's kind of this, this that's exactly probably the, the kind of multiverse that uh, that there is in this game. Yeah, I think that that's the exact like perfectly this concept of multiverse that is used in this game and it was obviously the game is like the original original thing that used it before the spider-man movie like the new animated one but let's just stop talking about it and focus on the story and yeah i just see this piece and i'm like damn another flagship uh Then this son of a, I don't, I don't want to say what, but comes in and takes the Paragon. And yeah, let's, let's go through this a bit quicker. We got E, amazing name, got some fuel, let's go. And that is probably going to be one of my favorite soundtracks. Let's interact with a crewmate, let's feed him, let's get another morph and let's change his form into a... we don't want a Roomba, obviously. Let's get another, I don't know, um, obelisk crew. Okay, let's go. Never mind the nothing jump. And yeah, right now we'll be jumping without like the direction and here's the final boss of this game. I mean, that's the strongest enemy that I've met until now i think that there was like a guy that was had like 80 hp and i probably have i probably have some screenshots of him but 
mm, right now not. And yeah, that, here's the Vance, the Admiral, and <laughs> his his description is amazing. Admiral of the Rebel Fleet, kind of a bad dude to be honest. Yeah, obviously. I mean, he will die in a matter of seconds, no matter what. I mean, as you can see, he's, he's getting effed by our guys, and yeah, we have only four minutes before this son of a gun... Oh my god. If only he... He detonates the Paragon, so yeah, let's let's take care of him rather quickly. Mm, there was against some invaders, and we have to cloak it because yeah, there's there's some bad stuff happening. I mean, we'll be able to easily fend them off, but yeah, for now just let's wait. Just like that. Now uh, I think we'll go for this piece, and then let's just focus. I don't know what. Let's do this. Yeah. And we are probably already winning. Let's vent them. Let's turn off also a bit of oxygen, because why not? Uh, payload should be going to be uh, like this piece. This room. Nice. Intruders on board. Yeah, the cognitives. This, this is like, you know. Mm, they are going to get effed a bit right now. Okay, not really. Those, you know. Uh, obelisk, crew members, whatever. The other different kind of obelisk. Let's send the mender here to repair it. We are pretty much winning it easily. Okay, I was surprised. I'm actually surprised because I thought it, this battle was a lot, a lot, a lot harder, but I guess not. It's over. The beautiful soundtrack plays. And yeah, the flagship explodes and we win this freaking battle and yeah with the mfk flagship destroyed and vals with it your mission has been a success success oh my god the rebellion will struggle to recover without the reader leader but this won't be their death you retrieve the, ner the nearby paragon from the wreckage and bring it back to your ship knowing there's Little time left to lose before the fleet catches up. You take one of one lose one last look at your crew. Holy shit! I'm bad at reading. To detonate this bomb means to collapse of to, means the collapse of multiverse and the multiverse drives will be simply cease to function. This means the end to the war, but it's it will kill you and your crew as well as strand billions of people from around the multiverse. The choice is yours, Captain. How it's how does it end? Yeah, let's talk to our guys. Let's talk our. Oh, yeah. I I don't know either what he said, but it's cute. And let's just talk to Alan White about it. Yeah, there's a big freaking choice. It's like a phil phil oh my god, philosophical piece of shit. And let's just. I think the right thing to do would be to end the war with detonating the Paragon and like doing all of this. But it's like a bit. I don't know. It reminds me a bit of like the communist shit. Like, you know, they did that. I don't know why it just reminds me of that, but it's just like not giving people a freaking choice and even though it will take, the war will also take a lot of lives, I believe that the right choice is to is to destroy the Paragon and just like let people choose and not just make the choice for them even though many of them would would like to just freaking end the war and whatever, but yeah, I think the choice is is not up to us, so let's destroy the Paragon. Yeah, like I said, this is this isn't your cho choice to make. You can decide the fate of the entire multiverse. Yeah, this this war might never end, but we can't end it on our own without without like you know doing it on our our own. Yeah, like I said, let's continue.
yeah, without without vans, without all of this shit. That's that's I'm I'm like a bit emotional about it because it's actually like the the true secret, not secret, true ending of this game. So like obviously it's a bit a bigger thing than just normal killing ships. But yeah, let's go. True ending, like you've seen here. So that's it, guys. That was this weird ship that I, the name I don't really remember, but yeah, that was the main storyline, the true true storyline, the true ending. And yeah, we are we are going to let those those flow a bit. We have we have quite some time. This episode is already long, so why not add a minute or two? Mm, like I mentioned many times probably through this playthrough uh, I'll be uh, out in the August and there will be probably a few runs of FTL and some some runs also of of Frostpunk I I mean probably many of you guys know Frostpunk but yeah I mean it's it's it was a popular game some time ago but uh, I just wanted to play it I really liked it I really like the, the story I really like the the whole like graphic design and like the mechanics in this game and yeah there are some also some guys that contributed into the uh into the creating of the like creating of this mod like there's there's a guy just obviously called ftl fan 99 why not probably donated some some good cash or whatever i mean that was like some discord stuff so maybe like a nitro or whatever some some designers here yeah There's a lot of like uh, things to to mention here. <laughs> yeah, I I read it sometimes. I mean, most of the times not, but yes, yeah, sometimes. Is there anything else here? I don't remember. I think I think not. I think that's the end. Yeah, score. Let's just see the stats. I don't think that was a. Uh, it was actually a fairly good run, yeah. We were exactly here. Our crew members didn't do any records because we we just finished our fights really, really, really quickly. So that's what happened. And yeah, I mean, 32 crew members. Yeah, there's also a, another like run of this ship. Yeah, that's the one I where I had the Spider Queen. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching and... See you next time. Peace out.